Hmm. What do you know? It's a good place to be. Isn't this fair to ask him what he you knows? There, see? Yeah. It, it's a good place to be. Hmm. 
that right? I like it. Huh? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's very true. Could you read it? Read it? Okay. <laughs> All that is caused abides in the self, proceeds from the self, and reverts to its cause, the self. Mm -hmm. Since all dreams are caused, they abide in the self. Mm -hmm. And they proceed to you about yourself. Mm -hmm. And as you understand your dreams, you participate in the logos of the self. Mm -hmm because through dreams, you are reverting upon the soul. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yes. See, all this stuff could be taught in high school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they should. Because it's likely everyone in high school has a soul. Yeah. I think they even say so. Yeah. And they might be curious about it. Mm -hmm. So what is this hostility against what they call metaphysics? It's obvious. It's all obvious. I <clears throat> can't believe it's obvious. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Isn't it obvious? Yeah, it's all obvious. When you see it, it's obvious. Mm -hmm. When you see it, it's obvious. Yes. Now, it may take you some time to work to see that it's <laughs> yes. obvious, yes. but it's all obvious. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. When you see it, it's obvious. So. Could you read it aloud, please? Yes. <clears throat> I'm in a classroom with other students. I sit down at a desk. The teacher comes over to me and asks me what we had worked on the time we were together, the last time we were together. I take my binder out of my backpack and hand him a piece of paper out of it, with one side that has been worked on and the other side not worked on. He snatches it from my hand and seems to be angry as he's visibly upset that the work is unfinished, as only one side of the paper is done and not the other side of the paper. You want me to go to the scene change or stop? Go to the scene change? Okay. Yeah. Scene change. I am in an open doored closet. I am standing in the corner of the closet. I am upset about something. I can feel the teacher is at the opening of the closet. He seems to be overly concerned with me as he's just standing there and not attending to the other students in the classroom. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting dream. Yes. Okay. Yep. Well, what am I going to ask? Is it a failure or success? Again? Is it a failure or success? Go ahead. Um, I don't know. There doesn't seem to be any goal. Okay. Um, that's, that's true. Go ahead. Then what else should we inquire about? My state of mind? Mm hmm Well, and I think my state of mind changes sure. from the top, yes, to, yes. from the first scene to the second scene. And um, I'm curious about why my state of mind changed. Uh, if it changed, I'd like to know what it was before it changed. <clears throat> um, I'm just like a normal student going to class, trying to learn whatever we're trying to learn. Um, and then this thing happens between the teacher and I, and then the scene changes and all of a sudden I'm in the closet upset. Um, I'm not sure if he's upset, if he upset me or if I'm just upset. <clears throat> The teacher coming over to you. Right. Okay. What is he like? What's going on? Yeah, it's like I'm still trying to figure out, like, um, what's going on with him. Like, uh, he seems to be, like, picking on me in particular. Like, why did he come up to me out of all the students and ask me in particular what we had been working on prior, like, out of everybody? And why is he angry with me that the work is only halfway done when he's the teacher? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's good. <clears throat> yeah, it's very good. 
So yeah, that, that really like confused me about the dream. Like what is going on between this teacher and I? Um, like why is he picking on me in particular? Mm -hmm. And then how do I end up in this closet upset? Yeah, hold on. Okay. Okay, that's the first. Mm -hmm. right. Next, okay. Now you turn over the book to him. The paper, the piece yeah, of paper. The paper. The piece right. of paper out. You take it out of your backpack. My, my backpack right. and so he gets the piece of paper. Right. He, and he snatches it out of my hand. He just he doesn't take it. He, he snatches, snatches it. it. So from that action, I'm I'm taking it to mean that he's angry at me, or angry in particular. But it seems he's angry with me because he's picking on me in particular no. out of all the people in mm -hmm. the classroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or this is just my perception, I don't know. And when you give him that piece of paper, right? right. you see what he's judging, right? Right, that it's only halfway done. No, and that's really interesting. So there are two sides to the paper. Right? Yes, there's two sides. One's finished, one's unfinished. Hmm. Right. Now, <clears throat> is there any sense of that it is unfinished? I mean, well, because when in, he's... In the, in the dream. Yes, yeah. it, it, there is definitely that going on because I remember as I hand it to him, that there's two sides, and one side you can see there's corrections, and the other side's blank. Mm -hmm. Like that red marker that the teachers use to correct things. Yeah, what was it like seeing the corrections in red? <sighs> in the room. I'm trying to think if it affected me or not. Um, I think more of his of his manner t towards me affected me more than the corrections. Like I don't mind being corrected if I'm doing something wrong. I'd rather be corrected and do it right than not be corrected. Mm -hmm. The question I'm asking now right. is. <clears throat> Is there any evidence that that page that was blank should have been completed or added to? Well, or, it's, or not? that's what my question was, is if he's the teacher, he's supposed to be teaching us, right? Yeah. If he wanted both sides to be done, both sides should have been done. Yeah. Therefore, it looks like? Uh, like he's angry at me because he didn't finish something oh, that he should have finished. Oh, see? Because he can see? Right, because he can see what? That he didn't finish it. Is that what you're saying? Right, or he didn't teach that side to no, us. No, no. And I'm like wondering why is he mad at me for him not teaching us both sides of the paper? Because no. that's what we had finished the last time. The last time we were together, we had finished the one side. So uh, if he wanted to finish both sides, the both sides should have been finished last time we were together, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 So why is he angry at me that I've only finished one side when that's what we did mm -hmm. together? That's good. Good sin. Uh, what did you do with your sin? I didn't say anything. I should have said something. Yeah. What was that like, therefore, seeing that and saying nothing? Huh? What was that like? Um, it's like, uh, like you don't, you know that you should say something, but, but you feel you shouldn't because the person is more of an authoritative type person. And you don't want to disrespect that? Uh, put it in other words. Say the same thing in different words. It's like you don't want to call out the teacher in front of everybody. Oh. 
Like there's some sort of oh. like. Oh. Yeah. That's true. She has a good statement. Uh, what is that like, being in that state? It's, it's hard to be there because, um, because you, you can see that this person is being unjust, um, but yet you don't want to um, disrespect the, the teacher. You don't want to... Um, like uh, show everybody that they're in the wrong and not yourself because there's some sort of that weird authority type thing going on like they're you know like you're just the student and yeah. they're the teacher yeah. <laughs> type of thing yeah. Yeah. Uh, could you put a name on what that is called what you are doing the state of mind that bringing you to say nothing. Like, what name go covers that kind of thing? I don't want to be disrespectful. I don't want to be disrespectful. Yes, that's true. But yet I feel I should speak up for myself. Yeah. But being in this state, is there a name that can cover the <coughs> state of mind? Um. It's like um, that same feeling I get um, where I want to um, put myself in a, a safe place and um, where nobody can like harm me, if mm -hmm. that makes any sense, and I like almost like I um, yeah. I revert into the yeah. shell, yeah. the shell. Yeah. 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 Um. <clears throat> See, if we could put a name about, might be interesting to wrap it up with a name, but we can do it without it. I call it protective mode. I don't know okay. why. I, I call it my protective mode. But I don't knew, necessarily know if it is a protective mode. Yeah, but that's a good name to call. This my protective mode. Right, right. No. Because I don't know if I'm necessarily protecting myself because when yeah. I get in that frame of mind, yeah. I shut down. Yeah, yeah, I shut down. That's right. I'm, I'm no longer uh, willing or want to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, learning, I, yeah, yeah, it does. It ends learning. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> uh, then, in some way, uh, are you? Is this your protection, or are you protecting him? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I never thought of it that way. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, it seems like I'm more protecting him. Yeah. yeah. Is there other words for that protecting that you could use? Um, like you don't want to, you don't want to make the person uh, seem foolish. Yeah. Right. And right. you don't want to make them seem dumb. Yeah. So, uh, are you familiar with any religion? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Christianity. Oh, 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 oh. Would they have a name for what you're doing? Yes. What? Um, what would they call that? Being um, the, I want to almost say like you're being the sacrificial lamb. 
Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, because <laughs> you are being a sacrificial lamb. Yeah, yeah, yeah sacrificing yourself, yourself your for mind. somebody else. Yeah, yeah, but in respect to what you do, what is he doing? What are you doing in respect to him? That's in respect to yourself, and that fits. Um. Yeah, that's right. You're being a sacrificial lamb, right? I'm trying to think of a what that a better word for it would be. Um, that um, not that I don't agree with it. It's but it's almost like you want to do unto others as they you'd want them to do unto you. Like you wouldn't want somebody to like call you out mm. if this same situation happened to you. Mm. You know. So it's um, also that sort of way, too? Yeah, yeah, that's there. Um, yeah. uh, so if you're the sacrificial lamb, then uh, what other words would describe that? Like why do people sacrifice lambs in order to do something for something, for some end, some purpose or something? Well, they they say because if you're this type of person, you're going to go to heaven. Um, oh. But I don't oh, I don't when, think when, that's when, true. Then how, how do you get to heaven? You have to be what? By sacrificing yourself, um, being um, being a good a good little uh, soldier, and yeah, just this is a, <laughs> a Christian, then, huh? Wow. Well, you know, you don't can't get too much out of a dream, but um, I still am curious. Uh, uh, you're keeping him from from looking bad, right? Yes. Yeah. What's that called? It's not a good thing to do. What? Um, you're you're. You're doing something that's not fair to yourself or to them. Um, because um, they're not learning and you're not learning. That's true. That's true. But in doing that, <coughs> uh, you're keeping him from looking this way. Yeah, looking right? stupid, looking... Yeah. What's another word for that? Keep him from incompetent. Looking. Yeah. Looking incompetent. Uh, what's that? Um, that he's not being the teacher he needs to be. That's true. We're just wondering about what name to call that. Um, I, yeah, I'm trying. I'm yeah. really trying yeah. hard. <laughs> um, yeah, if, if you're the sacrificial lamb in this game, uh, at the same time, uh, you're keeping him from uh, finishing. I'm keeping him from looking like uh, he, yeah, like he's not doing his job. Yeah, you're keeping him from not looking like a teacher, like bringing him down to his what level he should should yeah. be brought down to. Yeah. So if you're keeping him from appearing. Of course, so he's going to stay the way he appears, mm -hmm. but your action is doing something in respect to him, isn't it? And we're looking for a couple of words. I know. Right. I'm trying. Um, yeah. yeah. Do you know any other religious words that might fit? Being his savior? Oh, well then, <laughs> what? Being his savior? Oh, you're his, oh, then this is uh, saving him. You're saving him. Is that right? Not doing a very well job, but yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're saving him from uh, <clears throat> seeing himself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of religious, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. No, uh, 
Is there some big cheese in Christianity that does that kind of thing? Well, Jesus is supposed to be Jesus is supposed to be like this. Oh, oh, then you're acting out a Christian drama. Is, is that right? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but do you remember you said that um, this gets you in a certain yes, you don't safe mind. place? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you like being in a closet? I don't like it. That, yeah, that's yeah, that's the closet. That's the closet. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. And that's very true because even in the dream, I don't understand why I'm in the closet, and even when I get in this state of mind, I don't understand why I get in this state of mind. Yeah. Well. Uh, because you're not going to reveal what, what you know. Is that right? That's very nice of you. I hope you keep that up. Well, well, it's like because I'm, 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 I'm yeah, afraid of... <laughs> I'm afraid of anger. Of I'm afraid of angering him. Yeah. Making him more angry than he is. That's right. I never and, and I don't want you to challenge your thoughts. Oh. So <laughs> no. Yeah, it's not... That's this is a good thing. Oh, uh, no? What you telling you then? Uh, that yeah. I, I don't like being here. Oh. I don't like being there. I don't want to be like this. Oh, oh, that what looks like you have to give up then. But I was hoping I, I've been doing better. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> See, some vestige of this, some tracing of this still is going on, and your dream is saying, hey, you could be doing great here and there, but this is, too. Yeah. There's a touch of this still going on. Yeah, and it's, uh, yeah, I call it the path of logos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think it's very important for, uh, uh, did you have parents? Yes, I do. Oh. It's very important to be that way with your parents. Because mm. And teachers. Mm. No? I don't want to be this way. Ooh. I was hoping maybe you'd change. want to stay that way, no? No, I don't want to stay that way. Yeah, because look what it does. It stops me from learning. Yeah. What kind of learning? Learning that what I'm seeing is um, what I'm seeing and um, that I should trust in my seeing and um, that I should speak up when I see something and um, I shouldn't be afraid of the backlash that may happen. See this idea? Mm. You're blocking the logos. The logos of your soul. <laughs> right? Don't want to do that. Well, uh, uh, is it likely that when did you have the screen? Uh, Thursday. Uh, could this deal with some event Wednesday? Mm. I'm trying to remember. Hmm? I'm trying to remember. Oh. Um. Oh, uh, who you say Wednesday? <laughs> Uh, what happens when they put it in this language? It cuts through everything. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think you see something, right? I'm, 
I think I do see something, yes. Hmm? Um, I do think I see something. No. No. You don't have to go into it, by the way. No. <sighs> Thank you. out on this, please, and go over there. Yes, good. You want to do the big one first? Or okay. I don't really mind no, the most ahead, recent one. Or... Go right ahead. Okay. Uh, I'd probably do the most re recent ones. That's this one. Your way. Okay. Uh, dream, this was 418, 2017, so Tuesday. In the first part of the dream, we are in a school and someone is talking to me. They're talking about this lion roar. They say, the thing about truth is that it bites. It reminds us that the lion is always watching over us. That's it. That's all you need. I, I apparently. <laughs> what, what do you see about it? Uh, well, in one sense, it's kind of a proclamation. And it's got like a descriptive aspect to it in the words themselves pick up a lot of the symbols I've been studying recently and I remember listening to it in the dream and being like yeah that's right that is what the symbol of the lion stands for mm -hmm. and that there is this dual sided nature of truth one that it bites because it is true and part of it can be harsh but another part of it like the roar itself was this abounding, like when, when she talked about, there was a woman, when she talked about this roar, it was like uh, heard the entire, something heard over the entire cosmos, like everywhere. Mm -hmm. So um, I was just like in the dream, like, yes, in the state of, uh-huh, I agree. I, yes, I see this. What's that line by a group in the group? Uh, clear, obvious. Um, I also really appreciated her ability to put into symbols this truth that she was talking about.
And it made me kind of vigilant hmm. that there was something reflecting truth, something in the universe that would take our experience and give it back to us. Un Is that in the dream? Yeah, when she says it reminds us the lion is always watching over us. <clears throat> and I took the lion to be a symbol of providence or of a god or something. <clears throat> oh, what do you make of the dual nature? The dual you nature. Said it had a dual nature. Her lion. Her, the lion? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, the dual aspect of it was it's like kindness and harshness that it could accurately give back to you, like the biting part of it, like it would give back to you exactly what you reflected to it. And the kindness was the exact same thing that would give back to you exactly what you gave to it that it was um, appropriate to whatever you offered to the, this, li this truth, the roar, would, when it sounded, it would reverberate back to you, yeah. exactly your condition. Yeah. And if, in the dream I took that, if you're not living, um, if you're living wrong, it's going to hurt. It's going to reflect that aspect of your wrong living. It, there's no, no pulling punches, as they say, or no softening of the truth. It, it shows you exactly what, what it is. And then the other side of that was that she was actually caring for showing you that. Well, um... I guess you, <clears throat> you call that, uh, see, the question is in the dream, see, rather than think about it now, or in terms of the, when you were having the dream, what was it like knowing that the lion bites in the dream at that moment? Oh, painful. Hmm? Painful. Simple. Painful. Painful. Yeah, Simple yeah. too, but yeah, painful. Yeah, painful is good. More painful and uh, um, friendly or I, there was no friendliness no. or not friendly. The friendliness is actually the other side yeah, of the, the coin. Other side. Yeah. Uh, harsh, fine. direct. Harsh. Uh. Direct, <clears throat> like. Cutting, biting, in that sense of bites, like it, it's biting it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> I presume that you have an idea of this idea of something, you call it uh, something always watching over. Right. Uh huh. That's a very nice uh, image. Uh huh. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, then, uh, what is the result in the dream of this lion always watching over? Does it help? Does it instruct? Does it benefit? Or does it just dole out? Oh no. The other side of it was the quote, the friendly side as it appears was that it, it reflects back to you exactly your condition, like it. Tell me, would you agree this image is like uh, a shepherding? Right, a shepherd watching over sheep, it's, right. A little bit more proactive, Okay. but yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a... Could you give me some other images that would capture that watching over? I would say like the dream master. Like, 
always paying attention and giving back to you your state. Like, well, immediately when I hear the word lion in the dream or outside the dream, it makes me think of a dual aspect again of number one. There's the, I've read the entire Chronicles of Narnia, and so there's the Aslan character, and that character's always watching over everybody yeah, in I, the scenes, uh, and In terms of what the way it represents. he's functioning, then, uh -huh. uh, give him a grade for watching over. Give him a grade for watching over? Yeah. As a, Other than the words itself. Well, well wait a minute. Would a shepherd then... Uh, Buy it? Or? Uh, no. That's no. why I didn't choose a no. shepherd. No. No. Shepherds are a bit more passive. Yeah. And friendly, though, and watching over. There's a friendly aspect. Yeah. <clears throat> uh. I think you now need to ask how you can reconcile these two because if the person's always watching over does that avoid does that avoid painful situations therefore it benefits if it's biting I, I don't understand what you're asking well, just so. that what good does what follows for it always watching over it does it then benefit the subject? Because it looks like there's this painful, harsh part that's biting. If that's what you're going to provide for it. That's what her words are like. They say the thing about the truth is that it bites. It reminds us that the lion is always watching over us. Yeah. So this is coming out of, now you have to tell me about this person who's speaking and is giving this story. Okay. I know nothing about the person. About anything about the attitude, the manner, the style, the voice? Oh no, it's just matter of fact. Like they're, they're talking to me. It says they're talking about this lion roar. They're discussing like, I don't even, I don't even, I only get the feeling that I'm out of school. And they're discussing this aspect okay. of the lion roar. Okay, okay. And so. Okay, that's all right. Okay, let's go to the second one. Uh huh. Second paragraph. Go ahead. I'm with the woman. We are at, we are at a school. So we should say it was like a school for magic. This woman was saying that the school is totally the best school for magic, and that is totally worth it. She says she has four children, two of which are twins, and that her oldest one is 17. She says my 17-year-old is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. The way she says it makes me imagine her as being beautiful from the inside out. Like I see light radiating from the inside out of her. I imagine her as graceful and noble. No. Yeah. I don't actually see the girl, by the way. It's yeah, just me and the woman talking. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of that? What are you doing in the stream at this point? She's telling me about the school of magic and what's good about it. And I'm not doing anything but listening. No, yeah, so far, how good is the school? According to her, top notch. Huh? Totally worth it. The yeah, best. But, uh, but she's pointing to her to two daughters, my twins. Right, actually. She's actually pointing she has, to yeah, four the twins children. aren't the 17 year old yeah, from my Four understand. children. Uh -huh. right. <clears throat> uh, what do you do with what she's, or this dream? What is your role in this? I'm listening, hearing her, getting an opinion. Yeah, go ahead. Like, In one sense, I'm imagining what her daughter would be like. That's right. You're imagining. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It's not something you're seeing. You're imagining her. Oh no! This is her. What? This is her recount. Yeah. It makes me imagine her as being beautiful from inside and out. Right. I literally get like a picture of what her daughter would look like. 
come. Uh-huh. And then you have that, uh, the image of her, the light flashing, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what are you then doing in respect to the scene? Oh, I don't do anything. You're imagining. Oh, on top of the imagining? No, sure, yeah, yeah. nothing, yeah, but yeah. That's yeah, an activity of imagining. Uh-huh. Right, right, right. <clears throat> so it's not something you're saying, it's what you're doing with what you're saying. Oh, no, yeah, there's no... Yeah. We're at the school, Yeah. Yeah. and she's telling me about her children's experience there and what she sees the effect of it on her children. Yeah, yeah, and I imagine that she's graceful and noble. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Are you confirming that on anything, or this is an act of imagination, isn't it? Oh, no, the dream ends. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. at this point, it's an act of imagination. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so far, you can't, or would you say, there's some basis for you to judge it's a good school? For a manager? Oh, no. 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 So that this doesn't carry itself out. You don't learn about the school or the kids no. or the twins. No. Right. 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 Because you're involved in this activity. Sure. Hmm. What do you make of that? It's incomplete. Yeah. 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 It doesn't go on to examine that or not, or get any proof of it one way or another. Yeah. So. Yeah, but it is an interesting exercise in imagining, you know, or, or uh, visualizing. Or, but oh. ind- independent of verifying it and all uh-huh. that kind of stuff, that's not playing a role. Uh, so, uh, do the next one. Oh. Hmm. This one. Um, The big one. Okay. Uh, This was, I had this last Saturday. So I brought it to the Saturday morning, but we ran out of time to reflect on it. So I held on to it. Uh, 4.15.17. I awake in the dream like I have awoken from sleep, and immediately there is a certain sort of urgency or necessity about me. I'm asking what is going on, what is happening where I am? The answer comes from within something like the mysteries are happening for the mysteries are going to happen or something like you are going to go through the mysteries. It was more like the mysteries are happening. I thought, oh, I got to see this. I got to be there. I've got to watch. I have to figure out what this is. I start paying attention. And all of a sudden, there is this dome, this miniature rock, like the size of a kitchen table or smaller. It is like, it's like, uh, it's like things I think, like the mysteries. It's like the mysteries, I think, in the dream. Like through the system that the mysteries are going to be interacted or carried out. So I'm like waiting and wondering about what is going to happen. This man shows up and he is waiting to do the, should say mysteries, looking at it. He slides his hand through the crack, and I'm wondering what is going to happen. Nothing apparently happens. I'm thinking maybe something will seize on his hand or lock in his hand, and we will see what is in the dome. It goes by really fast, and I'm wondering, what is this mystery here? This is supposed to be a mystery. This is supposed to be the mysteries. What is this? I'm very eager to learn and to participate. That should have a question mark at the end. Uh, then the woman shows up, then this woman okay. shows up with a... That's enough. Okay. Yeah. What do you make of this? How do you see yourself functioning in this trend? I'm wanting to learn, that's for sure. Yeah. And it definitely does not apparently match. I don't, if something happened, I have no idea. Uh, it does not match what I think is going to happen. That's for sure. Like, 
you end up uh, then thinking about it yourself? Oh, I wonder what's done. Like, is that it? Is that all there was to the mysteries? Like, it's not very. Well, read the last sentence. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Maybe. Maybe something, something will seize on his hand or lock on his hand, and we will see what is in the dome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you call what you're doing? Uh, expecting something? I don't know. What do I call what I'm doing? Yeah, well, of course, you're quite right. You're, it, it, it is an expectation. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I have no idea. The guy who runs his hands, like, there's this crack in this dome, and he runs his hand through the dome, and that's it. And I'm like, that's all? That's all that happened? <laughs> like, I'm a bit yeah. astonished, like... Yeah, but you end up with raising a, a what would you call it? I don't know what I would call Maybe it. something will arise. What do you, what kind of a reflection is that? Um, wondering if there's more to be seen than I actually saw. Like, yeah. See yourself in the dream. I remember in this exactly. Last sentence, what, okay. I'm thinking. Go ahead. I don't know if this happened before or not. Before he ran his hand through it or not. No, that's okay. Like there's a crack and the guy's going to run his hand through it. And I'm like, what's going to happen? Is his hand going to seize on it? Like. Is it going to induce some sort of terror in him? You know, like, I don't know. This is what I'm wondering what's going to happen. And this is one of the things. Please read the last sentence. I'm thinking maybe something will seize on his hand or lock on his hand, and we will see what is in the dome. What is that called? What are you talking uh, Hypothesizing, forming a belief. Uh, yeah, about what, what would you call it? About what will happen? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what will or might, right? This is, uh, see, maybe, you have a maybe, right? Uh -huh. Maybe, right? Maybe something will seize on his hand or lock on his hand and we will see. But is this uh, what kind of reflection do you call it? Is it in the present or future? <clears throat> future? Yeah. I'd like to know, put a name on what you're doing with this kind of reflection in this scene. What's a good name for it? <clears throat> I have no idea. Well, give him a grade so far. Him? Yeah. I wouldn't know what grade to give him because I have no idea what was going to happen. So. Well, up to, the, up to this point, would you give him a grade? He did exactly what he was supposed to do. He slid his hand through the damn rock. <laughs> That's what he was supposed to do. Uh, he's yeah. going to walk up, he's going to slide his hand through the rock, and... That's he's that's what he does, and nothing happens. Nothing happens. Yeah. So give him a grade so far. If nothing happens with his well, it's team. either that's exactly what was supposed to happen, and we're left wondering what that meant, or he's not accepted in the mysteries or something. Like I have no in the dream, I have no clue. It's he just slides his hand. It's not clear to me like he wasn't qualified to be initiated or anything. He just does what he's supposed to do. The next initiate up, they slide their hand through the rock, and that's all that happened. So. Um, so it could be that my intuition was wrong, that we weren't going to see the mysteries. I don't. That's just what I, that I come into the dream. Yeah. Well, if, thinking or knowing. If that's wrong, then what are you doing in this future statement? 
Madrun? Uh, I have no idea. See, it depends on how, like, how do you want to read the dream? Like, read the dream as the words say. It's supposed to be the mystery. Somebody's going to go through the mysteries. And... See, that's noble. And that should, we just want to know, we want to know if you give the guy a grade so far in the dream. I don't understand what to grade him other than his job was to put his hand well, through the hole. And in that, he gets an A+. Plus. Could anybody do the same thing? Was there anything spectacular about his hand motion? No. no. He was instructed to put his hand through the no, just, crack, and he did that. Then nothing spectacular or mysterious took place? No. Pretty mundane. Yeah. So give him a grade so far. I don't understand what to grade him on. Like, well, he did what he was supposed to do. A. Oh, if he did what he was supposed to do, would you uh -huh. still call him as part of the mysteries? If he's just, just oh, to me, there's nothing going on that's mysterious there in the dream. I'm like, what is this? That's not that's not a mystery. Like, this yeah. is supposed to be the mysteries. That's the mysteries. Is so putting your hand through a rock? Like, that doesn't seem very mysterious. No. Or mystical or noble right. or to right. me. So. Yeah. But originally you have a great interest in participating in this, right? And expectations, don't you? Hey, when somebody says the mysteries are going to happen, I'm pretty attentive, yes. No, yeah. yeah. Where the mysteries are going. So then what would you say happened to your high expectations? Oh, it was a letdown for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, um, Unfollowed. Pardon? It was incomplete. Incomplete. Yeah. 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 Is there something going on here that's similar to what's going on over here? Um, with the uh, girl? With the yeah. second dream? Yeah. I'm sure it's not shown to be true or false. It's it's a claim. It's a claim of something that's good. There's no evidence for it. But, and uh, is there any evidence that he may? Oh, the dream gets worse because the next person that shows up doesn't even want to do it. Yeah. So it doesn't follow through on what's supposed to happen. That's for sure. Hmm. Or what I believe would be something of the level of the mysteries. No. Yeah. <clears throat> there doesn't seem to be any revelation or vision or... Yeah. Uh, is this uh, last statement then uh, a hope? What do you mean? Is the last statement, I'm thinking maybe something will... Is that a hope? Future, it's futuristic, isn't it? Uh, well, I was thinking maybe that would happen, yeah. So you could call it a He's hope. not going to run his hand through the, uh, through the crack a again. A hope? I would call that an expectation. Okay, expectation. Of the future. When he's about to run his hand through the crack, I'm wondering, of all I've learned from the mysteries and my studies of them, what could be the thing that could be occurring? It's either that the, the, the dome's going to open up or something's going to seize on his hand and cause him a great terror, in fact. Neither of those things happen at all. Nothing happens. He runs his hand through the crack and that's it. Yeah, okay. Now, mm -hmm. the next paragraph, the, se the center one. Therefore, you come to a conclusion, don't you? It goes by really fast, and I'm wondering, what is the mystery here? This is supposed to be a mystery? This is supposed to be the mysteries? What is this I am very eager to learn and to participate? So does that look like you're still hoping? Oh, no, I'm not hoping in the dream. Well, in, in terms of this? It's not said with the, the tone of the dream. The tone of the dream is, what is this? This is shit. Like, <laughs> I'm here to part, I'm eager to uh, participate and learn. Yeah. And this is a bunch of shit, like what happened oh. right now, like yeah, yeah, a sham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if that's all the mysteries are, then that is yeah nothing. Yeah. So uh, 
this future expectation. Uh, what do you want to call it? In spite of the evidence, you have that expectation? I, don't have, I, I have the expectation when I show up. Right at the beginning of the dream is when I have the expectation that it's going to be something. Well, it looks like it's in the last sentence again. I'm thinking maybe something will seize on his hand and etc. I don't think that that came after that, but sure. So, well, see, because we, uh, we want to see if we can give a name on what kinds of thinking this is in respect to him. In respect to him? Yeah, like, uh, like. The, uh, I have no, I see you pushing this, I have no hope that something is going to happen. Just in the dream, I'm pretty frustrated that that's all that happened. I'm like, no, I don't think, like that's it? That's what was, that's what happened? I'm not thinking like, well something will come along and change that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that consistent with his last sentence in that first paragraph, though? I'm telling you, I, I don't think I thought that. He slides his hand through oh. the crack, and I'm wondering what is going to happen. Nothing apparently happens. I'm thinking maybe something will seize on his hand. As he's sliding his hand through the crack, that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Like, he's sliding his hand through the crack. I'm like, is something going to seize on his hand? Is it going to open the dome? Are we going to see what's on the inside? and nothing happens. So, I don't really take it. When I say I'm thinking something will seize on his hand, that's in the moment of his hand going through the rock, like... Look, this is a, a profound theme, and I'm trying to stay on that side. Okay. But it is a, right, it starts on a high level, right? Entering into the mysteries, you know what that means, on all I, the levels? Yeah, that's why I'm excited. So, yeah, uh -huh. and, you're, uh, and if that statement, I'm still on that statement, uh, is that a hope that he may yet fulfill this? No. Hmm. No, it's not. Because in the very... Maybe, is this in the dream or am, am I mis missing it? It looks like... I'm thinking maybe something, something will seize on his hand and lock on his... He's not going to run his hand through the slot again. There's a slot in the middle of this dome, like a crack in the middle. Is there an expectation? And then we will see what is in the dome? As he runs his hand, I'm like thinking these are what, this is what might happen. Tell yeah, what might happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hope. It doesn't happen. No, yeah, of course, I agree with you. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know if it's a hope so much as it's a conjecture. I don't hope anything's going to happen. I'm like wondering what's going to happen and I'm yeah. coming up with possibilities. Yeah. Okay, okay. Take the, the rest of the dream. The last, sen last yeah. paragraph? Yeah. Then this woman shows up with the baby and I ask her, are you going to participate in the mysteries? She says, no, I have no need for that or reason to do that. I asked, what is going on? Why won't she participate in the mysteries? Mm -hmm. And I thought, what did her words say? I thought she has no reason. I wondered, has she, has she already participated? Does she not see the reason? I'm left very puzzled. Something about the words didn't make sense to me, or I thought they should, they should have made sense. But I was left as, as to why she wasn't or why she had no reason to participate in the mysteries. It left me very puzzled. Something about the words didn't make sense to me, or I thought they should make made they should have made sense. But I was left as to why she wasn't, or why she had no reason to participate in the mysteries. Yeah. Uh, what would you say now that following this sequence? What's going on now? I have an expectation that she should want to participate in the mysteries, and she doesn't. It doesn't follow through on my expectation again. Yeah. Again, your expectation is running through these dreams, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, uh, do you find out from her? Do you uh, confront her? Oh, no. No. So you don't... Uh, I asked her. 
Look, what just, is going is that, on? Why won't she participate? Is that like this? You're not confronting whether or not this, these twins are in fact the way you imagine them? No, I don't do that either. Well, is that something similar going on? Are you dealing with reality? Her reality? Are you finding out? Hey, I want to. I want an answer. I'm wondering about what her words mean. Yeah. I have no reason for that. I have no need for that or reason to do that. So. So therefore, are you inquiring about? Uh, it? Not to her. I am wondering no. about it myself. That's yeah, for sure. No. In other words, here's another one. Run where you're. Right. You're reflecting on your. Right. These are all reflections you're doing. But are you uh, seeking to confirm that in, re, with her? Or I did not get that far, no. No. Fine. Uh, did you confront the magician or the, no. uh, or the, the girl? No. Nope. What do you think is going on? What were you saying? Um, uh, rather than give the people the question, I'm walking away with it myself. Yeah. yeah. Keeping it. Right? Uh huh. Right? Okay. Why are you having this dream? I have no idea. Well, is that, does that say something about what you're doing with... See, this is a profound dream. This is not just a baseball game or some trivial event. It's about mysteries. It's about a religious significance. I see it through all, of the, all three of them. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, so I wonder, remember the last dream we had? What was that uh, state of mind you got into? The protective mode? You, you were doing what? Protective mode? Protective mode. What was another word for? Um, being a saver? Yeah, saving him. Right. But, uh, like, I don't feel like I'm saving right, these if people. You keep this if you keep this expectation going, then you're not confronting him. I don't know what there's to confront him on other than this is bullshit. Like, that's not, enough. Like, hey, that's nothing enough. happened here that's a hey, mystery. That's enough. Like, I feel no inclination in the dream to tell the guy, like, you just got hustled. But you're keeping it to yourself. It does have a consequence if you keep it to yourself. And all True. I don't, I don't feel like I need to push the woman in any way to figure out other than I'm puzzled by what she means by her words. Like, That's worth telling her. She doesn't think there's any reason to participate. And from what I've seen in the dream so far, she's pretty smart. What? Gives you an impression that she's smart in the dream. Well, if I follow the dream, there's been no mystery. She's like, participate in that? <laughs> I got no need to participate in that. Well, then she's seeing through this. I don't, yeah, see, to me, whether or not she's connected those two or not, if I continue the logic of the dream, then she is clear seeing. Yeah. And then why does she need, there's no reason to participate in that. Yeah, yeah. So, because nothing happened. Yeah. If it's separate, then I would wonder, what do you mean? But if, as these are the mysteries in the dream that are presented, that's no, that's no mystery. Mm -hmm. That's not what I've come to understand the mysteries are, so. Well, um, so the question is, in terms of this drama of the dream, uh, what effect does it have on you to keep these reflections see, internally 
I, that's going on at least three times, maybe in the first one as well, but leave that out for a moment. Uh, um, I'm just still left to, at least in those ones, I'm left to, I'm left wondering if what happened was really what I thought was going to happen, if they really were the mysteries or not. I'm left wondering, like, in the first part, was that real or not? Like, did I miss something? Because if I, if I saw what I saw, I didn't miss anything, mm -hmm. and it wasn't what I sh what I thought it would be. No. And in the second part, something in the what she says in the words, when she says to me that it's, I have no need for that or reason to do that. And I asked her what's going on, why she won't participate in the mysteries. Then I thought there was something in her words that I didn't. No, I didn't but understand this her is words. a It looks like this is a continuous dream. This is one dream. Yeah. 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 And if so, then uh, must follow from this. Oh yeah. Yeah. And if it I didn't does, take it that way in the dream, I didn't understand it that yeah. sequentially. If you do, if you do look at it that way. Oh, she's very clear seeing. Then why are you reflecting? I don't understand. Because in the dream, when I hear the word mysteries, like, are you going to participate in the mysteries? I'm, like, importing what I know to be the mysteries. Every time I hear the word mysteries in the dream, it refers back to what I expect. Hmm. Not what I just saw. Because yeah. I don't take that to be the mysteries. No. Yeah. In the dream, I don't take it to be the mysteries. I'm like, what is this? Like, yeah. that's all there was? That's the mysteries? Yeah, she saw through it. Yeah, it's a sham. Yeah. So. Um, what do you think of the fact that you're wondering about? Um, still figuring it out? No, yeah, like, isn't there enough evidence in terms of your dream that it's a fraud, as you mentioned? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. But then you see, the important part of the dream is you're continuing with these personal inter reflections when the data looks like in the dream. Uh huh. What? It's com it's completely clear. It's a sham. Yeah. 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 Good. Curious, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> it makes me think of last Friday night. So, because we did the. Uh, the elements, and I particularly love the elements, and we didn't dive into them as deeply as I thought. And I also didn't think that the dreams were explored all the way. I thought that they were left at a certain level when another level of questioning could have pushed the dreams further. What do you need? What? You need to put it in, into words then. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Good. Rather than save it. Good, good. Thank so. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Take a break for a few minutes and then we jump into. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's a dream. Yes. Oh! What time is it? Uh, uh, 10. Huh? 10. Yeah. Can we do it tomorrow? Yeah.